traveler passing through the bare slopes of Israel's desert, the Negev, will be surprised to come across a forest. Track up the road towards it and you will discover yet another rare site, a museum dedicated to a disappearing culture, a culture which embodies the most ancient way of life on this land, the life of the Bedouins, the nomads who wandered around the Middle East with their cattle, just as our ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob had done here thousands of years before them. Badawa means desert. The Bedouin is a native of the desert. He lived in the desert. And his customs are an outcome of life in the desert. Many of these customs are to be found in biblical descriptions. The open tent, always ready to welcome a passerby or a guest and take care of his needs, as described in Genesis chapter 18 verses 1 to 5. And the Lord appeared unto Abraham in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he said, Pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. Let a little water be fetched, and wash your feet, and I will fetch a morsel of bread, and comfort ye your hearts. The Bedouins are Moslems, but being wanderers, their religious education came by word of mouth, and many of their traditions and beliefs include forces of nature and rituals which derive from their style of life. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah A separate living area for men and women is still strictly preserved among the desert inhabitants and also bears resemblance to biblical times, as we read in verse 10 of Genesis chapter 18. And Sarah heard it in the tent door, which was behind him. But this does not apply to all Bedouin women today. More and more young girls choose to study outside the premises and face the modern life, rather than fulfill their traditional feminine roles and serve as the providers behind the scene. The Bedouin woman was also the one who did the weaving, while sitting at a simple loom and making colorful carpets, as can be seen in the museum's display. Red is the preferred color here. Today, in the 21st century, it's quite impossible to find women who weave material out of goat's hair in this area. Even in Jordan, most of them don't live in tents anymore, and it's very hard to find. The Bedouin culture seems simple on the surface, but has many hidden layers that the museum tries to uncover. We asked Uda, the museum's Bedouin guide, to let us in on a few more of their traditional codes and ways of life. The main tent itself is also divided into two parts, one for the men and the other for the women. The women's part is called Maharam, which means band, band to male strangers. When I come to a Bedouin family, I don't pass in front of the women's section. I'll go all the way around, stand outside and cough in order to make noise. On hearing that, the women pass to the other side and only then I can let myself in. This part is destined to men only, and is called the wal, meaning to discuss, to talk, to host. An entering guest will receive three cups of coffee. If I pour my guest just a little, three times in a row, it means he is welcome. If an unwelcome guest arrives, I'll receive him with everybody else, but will fill up his cup, which actually means I don't want you here. I have no patience for you drinking three cups of coffee. Finish your cup and eat la barra. Leave the tent. The Western guest, who comes to enjoy the Bedouin hospitality at the museum tent, is obviously not aware of these traditional subtleties. The Bedouins in the Negev cherish their old ways and retain their simple and traditional way of life, but not quite. Cars have replaced camels as means of transportation, Generators provide electricity where there is none. Refrigerators and running water replace wells. And cell phones supply a quick and modern means of communication. But the most noticeable change of all marks the Negev landscape. The tent is not the only living space on the now permanent premises. Tin huts are gradually replacing the thick black cloth 
which was a typical feature of the desert view. The Bedouins, who circled the Middle East throughout the year, are nomads no longer.